Yo, what's going on guys, it's Little Shark, and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use this plugin called the Anti-X-Ray. It, it is technically a script, but works exactly the same way as the plugin. And I'm going to show you guys how to install it and how to set it up in-game, because I know people were having a little bit of issues. One more thing that I want to mention is I do have a Discord server dedicated to these types of help, um, script help, plugin help, plugin development, server help. So if you guys are interested in that, that will be down in the description as well. All right, so now getting into the actual video. So this link will be down in the description and uh, you guys can go come and download this anti-x-ray on Spigot. So when you download it, it is a SK file and that's technically a script file, it's not a jar. And then next thing that you wanna download is dependencies. When you're working with script, basically a script is built into a jar, uh, like a separate jar, and it, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you guys how it all works. But once you download your SK file, you want to go to your dependencies, and this uh, 1.8, depending on your server version, I'm using 1.8 for this video, so go ahead and click download 1.8. It takes you to a media fire link, and then over here is where you can download the actual dependencies, and then we'll just wait for this to download. All right, so this is finished downloading. What you wanna do, go ahead and open that 1.8 zip, and this is what it will look like. So as you see, it says 1.8 only, and what you need is a server to be running the one version, either 1.7 or through 1.12, and then you also need the server version to be running Java 8 so you would have to contact your host to ask them about the Java version that is actually running so if you're trying to drag this zip file the plugin straight over there it probably won't work and uh, that is because you need to go ahead and right click if you're running Windows and hit extract all and that just brings up this uh, little pop-up window just saying extract this folder to there and yes and I'm just going to replace all the files in the destination and it should pop up with a new window and that will allow you to drag those files to a different location. As you see, we have 1.8 only. Now we can go ahead and drag these into our plugins folder. What you want to do is go ahead and restart your server. I'm on minecrafthosting.pro. Fantastic host. You can use the code soulcodes for 10% off any purchase. Just had to get that out. And then we're going to go ahead and restart my server. All right. So after you restart your server, you can go ahead and refresh your plugins page. And these two folders should have loaded with your script jars that you placed in there. So depending on what server version, this scripts folder inside the scripts folder, as you see, we go into our script folder. And then this is where we contain all the scripts in this other scripts folder. I know it's kind of confusing, but this is where you're going to be placing your all your scripts that you go download or if you have. Depending on the server version that you use, this folder might already contain a few. Uh, I think like 1.8, 1.9, I, I made it so they don't contain it. But anyways, once you go into this scripts folder, go ahead and place your AXR into there and it should load up pretty fast. There we go, just like so. Now we can go in game. All right, so we are back in game and to get your script to start off first, you wanna do XK reload and then the script name, which is AXR and that just go ahead and reload it. As you see, we have successfully reloaded. There are no errors and then now we can do slash AXR and that brings up the really, really nice GUI. So as you see, all of these are not activated. This is the main anti-X-ray. This is what it is designed for. Basically what it does is hide the ores. And there's a whole bunch of new features that have been added as well. So you can have alerts. So if you do AXR alerts and actually we'll do AXR help. That just shows you all the help menu that is allowed for this plugin. So if you guys don't want to use the built-in anti-x-ray that it comes with, you can have an or counter, you can have an alerts built into this as well, which is pretty awesome. So if you want to use the or counter, basically you do or count, and then that just toggles the or count on and off. So as you see, you just press it again to disable and enable. So if you want to see the ores of a specific player, keep in mind when you're doing the ore count, the ore count has to be enabled in order for the ore count to actually be activated when a player mines an ore. So you can, as you see, we have it enabled. So we'll do XOI, ore count, and then ores, and then the player name. So as you see, I have zero iron, zero gold, zero diamond, zero emerald. So that is my ore count, as you see right here. And then you also can toggle alerts. 
basically uh, you can select the specific ore or you can select all alerts that would just basically alert you when a player mines a gold diamond or emerald and uh or you can just go ahead and disable all of them and just enable the diamond one so that just basically enables the diamond alert that way the gold doesn't alert you and the emerald doesn't alert you so that is the alerts and the ore counter is pretty cool and then if you want to clear an ore count of a player as you see you can just do axr or count clear and then the player's name and that just clears the ore count as you see, I already had zero, so it doesn't really matter. But now we can get into the GUI of how the anti-x-ray actually works. All right, we are back online, and I actually switched to version 2, 1.11.2, because I could not find an x-ray resource pack for 1.8. So I just switched it up. Everything works the exact same way. We do help menu, we do AXR, and then it brings up the GUI. So this is the iron ore i clicked it make sure it works so you can disable it or enable it and when it says not activated that means nothing from like the anti-x-ray code will work so you have to enable it or disable it and uh, that that's how that works so i currently have the iron ore enabled so how this works uh basically when a player is mining down to an ore they have x-ray on they can see the ores obviously when they're getting close to an ore it will disguise the ore as a stone block therefore they cannot see the ore anymore depending on if it's touching the surface it won't disguise it but if it's close and like inside like other stone blocks then it will disguise it so i'm going to show you guys how it works from an x-ray perspective all right, so we are digging down here, and keep in mind that, as you see that right there, they just disappeared. Um, depending on the ore, there is a certain Y level you can check on the spigot page. As you see, we have, uh, there's some gold and iron down over there. So I'm going to be slowly mining down over here to them. As you see, they, they have disappeared, just like that. So that is how the plugin works. That's how it activates uh, if a player is getting close to it, and then it just tries to disguise it as something else. So... As you see, that's some gold ore right there. We got some more iron over there and some gold down there. All right, so I know this looks will look kind of weird, but it's the best way I can show you guys how it works from both perspectives. So over here, if we do AXR, as you see, we have the iron enabled. If we go ahead and click disable, and uh, where is, um, there was some iron up here. So if we go to this iron all the way up over here, just mine it, mine towards it. As you see, it's not really disappearing. We have the coal ore as well, and uh, it's not like, getting disappeared. So that that is basically, it's disabling it. So if we go ahead and enable, as you see, you can enable certain ones and leave certain ones the same. So I want to activate the gold ore. So we have the gold ore right down here, so if we start getting digging, as you see, it has disappeared. If a normal player isn't using x-ray and they mine toward it, it will reappear for them. But as you see, if you're using uh, x-ray pack, it just looks like normal stone. That's just how it works. But as you see, if you're a normal player, uh, let me go ahead and turn this off. So as you see, if you're a normal player and you're mining it, hey, there's iron right there. So it doesn't like really disguise if a legit player is mining something, it will pop up to them as the normal ore. So that is pretty cool how that all works. All right, so now uh, we have the gold ore enabled and uh, there is some, is there diamonds? Yeah, so okay, there are diamonds down over here and diamonds over there. So let me go ahead and enable this, uh, the diamond one and I'm actually going to enable the alert so I'm actually going to enable all of the alerts actually they're already enabled and then I'm actually going to enable uh, what is it called the or count so or count is that yeah okay we already had it enabled from the 1.8 version so I'm gonna go ahead and dig down to these diamonds so I know there's some over there somewhere and I know there's some right over there so I'm just going ahead and di dig down hopefully to these diamonds so <laughs> we got some dirt as you see they disappeared they have disappeared. Where'd they go? <laughs> Where'd they go? So that is how it works. And I'm actually going to see if I can find them again. Uh, we're hitting some gravel, it sounds like. I know there's some over here. Next, Okay, we'll just go We'll just go over here and try to get this gravel out of the way. And then just slowly mine. Okay, so I know it's like right behind the uh, iron over here somewhere, hopefully. So we'll go ahead and mine it. Mine, 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 mine. It was like somewhere right over here, right? Was it over here? I don't actually don't remember. See that that's why it works so well, cause like players get confused. I legit forgot where it was. Uh I know it's like somewhere over this way, right? It was over here somewhere. Uh like up here, wasn't it? 
Well, I know there's one. Okay, I'll just mine straight to these ones because I know if I mine straight to these ones, I'll get there. So we're gonna go straight to these ones. I know it's over here somewhere. So just wait for it. Just wait for it. So slowly mining. There we go. All right, we got diamonds. So as you see over here, we have the alert message. I Soul Reaper has mined a diamond. So I'm gonna finish mining this one and that one. And I think that was all. So yeah. Alright, so that was pretty much everything in game about how it all works. So now I'm going to show you guys how to edit some of the files. So you want to go into your scripts and then basically go into your scripts file and then right click if you're using on FileZilla or just open it and we'll get view and edit just like so and we'll go ahead and open it up. So here is your config options that you can change. You can change all the prefixes, you can use color codes, you can have this enable, disable, this is all the messages that you can change. If you want to change something you can just do something uh we'll just do like like that i guess so we'll just put a parenthesis and then make sure you go ahead and save it and then save it in there and then when you're back in the game you can do axr reload and that just basically reloads it as you see if we do axr again and then if we do axr help as you see we have changed the prefix to that little parenthesis so that is how you change everything and all the messages uh from the config file Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and give a good showcase of what it actually does and what it's capable of doing. So if you guys do want this plugin slash script, go ahead and download it in the description down below. Make sure you go visit my Discord if you have a pretty big question or something along those lines or if you just want help. Make sure to come visit my Discord and I will see you guys next time. Peace.